Good morning, Tina Tubers. Today is Wednesday, and I'm off to the get this adjusted. But I feel uh, better as far as my back. Yes. The allergies still there. I don't think they're as bad. I I I think it's the core seed, and I hate. I'm not going to stop it yet. See how it goes. Um, I had. I was told, told you I was going with my brother and his wife and another couple and their son to, <coughs> well, they, I've met them before and they're wonderful people and really enjoy their company. And so I'm always seeming to cancel with my brother. So we talked a couple times yesterday. He had a security lockout on his phone. God bless him. Um, I think when you are asked to put your password in your Apple password. He thinks it's his screen lock, four digit thing. And so if you keep putting it in, putting it in, it'll lock it up. But anyways, it came back to life. So I said, go and have an appointment with them and let them check your phone. You know, make sure it's, his screen isn't showing the date really well. It looks different. So, anyways, maybe they can tell them what's going on. No fingernails because I have a little fungus growing. So, they're very brittle, and I certainly don't want to have a fungus on these nails. Gee, many Christmas. So, it's just a bit, little start of one, but I thought I'm going to take a break. I don't even know if you're supposed to put clear polish on fungus nail. I'll find out. I'll ask, but I'm going to soak them in vinegar. The fungus nail stuff that you paint on, I know this is gross, but it's true. And you know, you see all those advertisements of what you do, put Vicks on your nails, you know, Lister, soak them in Listerine. I don't know, folks. Um, what was I gonna say? So, the stuff that I paint on my nails that I got from the doctor, it smells so bad it, it's just it's like the worst okay so who wants to smell that it's just ridiculous but I'm starting back into the bad habit of eating something at 2 in the morning I can't do that I've got to get back I said oh why is it so hard addiction dang it dang it Anyway, I called the hairdresser. She can't see me on Friday. So I have to look like crap until she get me in. <laughs> oh my God. I was trying to wait till closer to when I leave, which is in 15 days. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two. Two weeks. Yippee. So let's see. I think, what is tonight? Is tonight, when, okay, Wednesday. So I don't think I have anything tonight, but I think tomorrow night's Van Weasel, or is tonight Van Weasel? I don't know, I'll have to look. But I know, no, and then tomorrow is 80 for Brady. I cannot wait, you guys. That to me is, I just think these women are, did you guys see the book club? I think that was, I know it was with Jane Fonda. I know it was with, um, uh, what's his name? Ted Danson's wife. What's her name? Starts with M. Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. I'll put it up here. And then there was, um, uh, Murphy Brown. What's her name? I don't know what her name is. Candace Bergen? I don't know. And, let's see, and Jane Fonda. And, uh, Diane Keaton. I think Diane Keaton was in it. O-M-G. Yeah. Any, oh my God, you guys. I could watch that over and over again. I love to laugh. <laughs> I think they're all great comedians. Um, yeah, I, I just... So I'm really looking forward to this because you know how I love sports, anything sports, and Tom Brady. Now, did you know that Tom... They made this the first year Tom Brady was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he, we hadn't won anything yet or anything. But he, I didn't realize he produced it. <laughs> it's kind of like having an ego, but so are creators. So there you go. Put yourself on screen. Um, 
but he's so cute. I just, I, I mean, to me, it would be something like me and Debbie and Tiny would do. We would, you know, 80 for Brady, or we would be doing something like that, or something for hockey. It's just, it's just, um, when someone shares your love of sports, and then you have a movie like that, and, and it's in my age group, I mean, they're a little, some are a little, oh, and Sally Field's in this one. Sally Field, I believe Jane Fonda. Rita, what's her name? Rita Marino. She, um, she was in West Side Story. And I think she was the first, I think I read something, could be wrong, that she was the first Puerto Rican to star in a, in a film, in a, in a Hollywood film. So, she's adorable. And, um, Jane Fonda, Rita Marino. Um, well, and I just can't believe it can't be any good. So we are going to up in Tampa to the Cena Bistro where it's a dine-in experience and it's so nice. It's just so lovely. And the seats are leather and oh my God, they go all the way back and they have these little lights on the side and it's very, it's, it's very high end watching a movie. Now I don't do it very often. But that's what we're doing on Friday, Saturday. I'm supposed to meet Sandy uh, at the mall. And we're going to walk, 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 and then have a nice little meal. She has stayed on her diet, except on the cruise, but she, we, she walked a lot. So she's lost, I think, 12 pounds. I haven't gotten back on the scale to see what I have gained. And so, um, yeah. And then Valentine's Day my brother is taking he he really wanted to do this for me and I feel bad I didn't know it we already made plans to do this with Tanya he goes I'm taking you and my wife to Cena Bistro in Sarasota for 80 for Brady he's so excited I'm like oh man I go of course I'll come and I'm I'll, I'll be delighted but I'm gonna see it the day it comes out which is tomorrow he was sad but then Tanya goes, are we going to wear our, our Brady our jerseys? Because I have a Brady jersey. And I go, yeah. Debbie goes, I don't even own one. I'll just wear my blue. <laughs> and Dottie, I just, you, you, are, you are so cute. All of you, Pinky and, and Anna and Cheryl. God, you guys are so sweet. And listen. And you don't always have to comment, honest to God. Like, I don't expect you to comment, everyone, but I sure get a kick out of it. And so, I appreciate you, and um, I, I thank you. The next day. Hello, Tina Tubers. Love it. Okay, let me tell you what she told me. And thank God for Sandy for always giving me some good tips on fashion and all kinds of stuff. I love this style and I told she said you needed this because my hair is thinning you guys can see in the other videos when I bend over whatever it's just thin so this gave me a little bit of sass and mass and what even um, my hair does grow fast so it only stays like this for four weeks I need a fresh cut again it's just a joke but because my hair is thinning she told me it's called a yarmulke fall and it's just a little cap that sits on top and you go to the wig shop and they match your hair exactly. So it gives it and it blends in with your hair and gives you more, more thickness. So I'm gonna make an appointment and go there. Probably it's gonna cost a lot of money. But now that I don't go get my hair done and dye, geez, I gotta think about that whole issue. Okay, so that's my story. Um, I just love her. I can't even tell you how much I love that girl. And um, I called Patricia, and she goes, she didn't answer. I go, wonder if she's, I wonder if she's um, watching Letty do a live, and she was. That is so cute. So, uh, and I, I tried to call Dottie. Don't know if she doesn't have my contact or she's working or whatever. But, anyways, Anna and Cheryl and um, Dottie, all of you guys. I just love seeing your little stuff. I read it.
but that doesn't mean you always have to do that. Like, I don't expect that. But I, if I make you smile, you've got to know how much you make me smile. It's just a joy when I hear back from you. And I, um, I haven't been around, and I don't have any followers that give me any grief. I think I had one. One that had an ob objection to me taking Accutane, which I get. That's that's fine. You know, like it damages you here and there and blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me see. Hello, guys. I got sick again and missed Van Wazel. Dang. I don't know what's going on. Debbie is following me home. I had to, I was driving there and it happened, like I could tell. And I had to pull off on a side street, lay there for 30 minutes. Thought I was gonna puke, but I've, I, I didn't. But I'm not gonna stay on here because this is a weird look. But, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I hate this stuff. Anyway, um, I'll talk to you later. Bye. The next day. We're here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Eating for Brady. One eternity later. See. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 this one, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, look at this one. Here's, here's, here's. Say hi, no. Tina Tuber. Say hi, no. Tina Tuber. Uh, Say hi, Tina Tuber. Tina Tuber! Tina Tuber, I'm coming at ya! Oh, my God. I can't. There's little Jackson. I'm going to close the video for today. Remember, be good to yourself, be good to others, and God will bless your efforts. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.